Hello YouTube. I made this two tote bag, leather tote bags this weekend. And they turn out pretty good. Completely leather. They're exactly the same except for the except for the handles. One has a vegetable tanned leather handle. And the other one has uh, uh, wrapped uh, leather handle. Made these for my wife and my daughter. My daughter like this one. My wife like that one. So took me two days to make this. Now I'm no expert in leather work. In fact, I just started this hobby about two months ago. And these were handbags number four and number five. So, this handbag has, uh, has a uh, hanging, hanging pouch with a, with a zipper. Hanging. I need two hands, I don't have. And uh, that's my maker's mark in the bottom. My maker's mark right there. I'm no expert. It's just a uh, just a hobby. Now, if you want to sh see how I do this, this one, just keep watching. Hundred percent leather. Completely handmade, made with uh, hand stitched, with uh, saddle stitching. Completely hand stitched. Now I'm not a professional leather crafter. This is strictly I'm strictly a hobbyist. So don't take my words for uh, gospel. I may be doing some of these completely wrong. As uh, you guys, professionals, may point out, but looks all right. You can see it too closely, then you can tell that it's homemade. But this will last for a long, long time. So if you want to see how I made it, you keep watching. I'm preparing to make two tote bags, leather tote bags, and the white cardboard thing is the, the pattern that I designed myself. And this is for the first bag. <coughs> I'm gonna make a red leather. Now, that piece is for the reverse of here to make it into a uh, pouch for the inside, zippered pouch. That is separate. That's, a, that's attached to, to the bag, but just hanging in, inside the bag. Here's, uh, here's the lid that's already cut. So what's going to do, we're going to do is, this is going to fold, it's going to fold back, fold down like this, and this will be the inside bag and then this will go under like this and then sew into a bag I'll make a zipper I'll make a zipper right here so there'll be no stitching to the outside of the bag so no seam line will show I'll probably make another one piece so you can have a hidden compartment in the back I haven't cut that leather yet and uh, this falls down like this for and then this come together and these sews together not so yeah so I'll stitch them together and then attach two handles that's it so this is gonna be the shape of the shape of the tote bag this will be the inside pouch this will be the edge the the opening folded over for reinforcement 
this is the edge for the over reinforcement come together like this okay now uh, I have sewn the inner pocket already see this one goes like this has a zipper right here and this folds folds in I glue them same thing on this one you see there'll be no 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 sewing no seam on this on the outside looks better so this bag is hanging working on two two handbags at the same time okay now I have glued the sides together both sides making sure that the edges are even making sure the edges opening are even here's the inner oh, this is how it's okay so glue them together with uh, barge using a barge contact cement this is all-purpose contact cement barge makes a real quick drying a permanent permanent bondage permanent bond on the leather even if you don't sew it I'm pretty sure you will hold but looks better when you, after you sew it stitch it up so the next step is to sew this part together like this on, on all four and then attach handle well and then uh, apply uh, what do you call it uh, saddle stitching on all these seams and then apply handle then you're done so the next step is to sew this part together like this come together like that go something like that okay now these parts are glued together the the ends both sides and now the bag is taking shape This the, the inside. So this is what the bag will look like once it's completed. taking shape this barge glue uh, dries up in just a few minutes and you can start doing things with it it's pretty pretty neat so now these bags have taken shape together and here go together in the end it will be all trimmed even after I sew it after I apply the whoop, after I apply the saddle stitching This is going to be the thread I'm going to use. 
it's a waxed thread, waxed uh, artificial sinew. Got it from uh, I got it from Tandy. Tandy leather. Okay, these are already glued together. Now I'm ready to punch holes and then uh, saddle stitch them. This is my workstation, my work table. Okay, this is how we punch the holes. Is this punch closer here? Four holes at a time. Make sure. Make sure you get them straight. You don't want crooked stitch line. The holes are already punched. Okay, so I have some the edges. Now I don't want to trim. Trim the excess edge off. Be careful not to cut your stitches. Side two. And then this side. Okay. Here's the handles I was made. I uh, get a piece of nylon cord, a small piece of nylon cord, and wrap it in uh, leather and cord, and then punch holes and then uh, stitch it. So these are going to be the handles. Right now I'm in the process of stitching these together. I glue them together, glued it with a barge, barge glue. This is how the handle is made. Straps are made. When it's done, it looks like this. Trim the edges off.
Now I have glued the straps on using a super glue and now I'm uh, I just uh, punched holes all around and I'm going to stitch them together. So this is how the straps looks. It's just a nylon cord inside. So I'm going to stitch this. The last stretch now. The last part of the strap. Pretty messy. Nice weather outside. Hot. Okay, now the handles are attached. I know these are not the straightest stitches, but hey, I'm not a professional. <clears throat> I know this, this will last many, many years because it's all hand sewn shadow stitching with a uh, tough artificial sinew it will last uh, uh, many 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 years last thing is to add my maker's mark my maker's mark onto the bag so people know who made it The maker's mark is right there. I just glue it on with barge, barge uh, contact cement. Probably made by yours truly. I don't sell these. These are only my hobby. I do it for my wife and my daughters. These are priceless. <laughs> I don't sell them. maker's mark for the second bag my daughter prefers the uh, strap of uh, made of uh, vegetable tan leather this is vegetable tan leather I cut two straps about 23 inches in length and I bevel the edges you think there's a beveler edge beveler This is what I use to cut the leather with. So it's not the smoothest. But it adds character and tells shows that this is handmade, not machine made. So now straps I have punched holes in them on both ends using this uh, hole punch. And then I use a uh, screwdriver to make uh, imprints between the holes so the, the thread have a recess, have, can recess. Okay, now I have uh, glued uh, the handles to the back using a super glue gel and uh, let it set then I'll sew it stitch it up then you'll be done also I made two uh, bottoms for the bottom uh, use uh, tan leather tan, vegetable tan leather imprinted with my maker's mark here's my maker's mark imprint with that and then just put that in there as a bottom so uh, this is what the finished product for bag number one looks like
two bags identical except for the straps almost finished except I just need to stitch the the strap on for the second one using saddle stitching it's already glued on using super glue everything else finished including the bottom again like I say uh, I'm strictly a hobbyist I am uh, not a professional leather maker leather crafter I just do this for hobby and these things are not for sale I would not sell them I just make them for family use as long as my wife and my daughters are not ashamed to, to wear them I'm not ashamed to keep making them for them it's just fun to do now you can learn everything from YouTube I learned every technique that I applied from YouTube watching YouTube YouTube videos you can learn anything from YouTube these days keep watching